The Honourable Sophia Mormont. When the Honourable uh, Dr Brian Walker and myself had the opportunity to introduce our motion last week, we were pleasantly surprised by the story from the Honourable Peter Collier. So thank you for that. Um, he is a long-term educator and he can see the value of education, something we can all agree on. Now, in the Victorian paper uh, that we tabled in this place last Thursday, it highlights how stakeholders see the de decriminalisation or legalisation of cannabis as a necessary step to protect young people from criminal justice-related harms for cannabis use. It has been shown time and time again that preaching abstinence doesn't work with teenagers, and neither does misinformation or disinformation. So it was with great surprise and dismay when one of my staff has recently told me her teenage son was told in class that cannabis is addictive, that it leads to mental health issues, and that it also causes cancer, none of which is actually based in fact. So cannabis products are being used to treat cancer uh, and mental health issues, and are also being used to help people overcome methamphetamine addiction. Now we've been unable, uh, 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 sorry, we've been unable to ascertain if the teacher was following a specific curriculum or was simply projecting his own values. This wasn't useful. It's in fact harmful. It's a given that teenagers will experiment. Um, that's the nature of that age group. That's what they're supposed to be doing whether you agree with that or not. And giving false or misleading information has never empowered anyone, has never prevented a pregnancy, has never stopped a teenager from making a decision to indulge in a particular substance, legal or otherwise. Education needs to reflect that, and anything less than the truth is disingenuous at best and harmful at worst. I, as much as anyone else, recognise that the safeguarding of minors is important and that harm minimisation strategies are absolutely essential. And I'd like to thank the, the Leader of the House, the Honourable Sue Allery, for offering a briefing in regards to the education that is being offered to the children of this state. Thank you.